Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Liz Spider 101. Welcome back to the final episode of the side stories. Today we're gonna be doing equals. So yeah, let's go ahead and get get into it. I don't know if this will be the final one, but there might be another one. Okay, everyone. We're going to be taking a break from the usual activities today. I was thinking since people are starting to talk about the festival, it's a good time for us to go over the general direction of the club and all that. I think it'll help us figure out what to do for the festival, you know? Oh, Sayori and I already came up with a really good plan. Really? For the festival? Yeah, so the plan is, okay? You and Yuri collect information ahead of time on which clubs and classes are doing food booths. Then we take a map and plan the most efficient routes so we can get the most out of them before the lines get too long. Hey, that has nothing to do with the club. Well, you have to let me finish. Alright, fine, go ahead. Right, so basically we get all the food we can and come here, and we all eat together. That's all. Wow, I get tricked twice by the same joke. <laughs> Don't be a hater. It's not like you can come up with anything better. Look, even Yuri was thinking about it. No, I wasn't. I would really prefer to do something literature related. We can eat together anytime. The festival is a unique opportunity. Besides, it's been quite a while since we've seen any new interest in the club. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. We really get a shot at showing people what the literature club is all about. I'll tell you what, we can do both, right? We'll make time for your food mission and still put together a public event. Oh my gosh, yes, I was joking, but that's a really good idea. <laughs> well, I'm glad that's settled. I think the question is how to come up with an event that demonstrates everything you can get out of the literature club. Well, that's kind of tough, because everyone gets something different out of the club. Okay, how about this? Let's go around and have each of us talk about what we've gotten out of the club so far. That could really help us figure out what kind of reputation we want to build. Yeah, that's too embarrassing. Oh, but you'd have so much to talk about. That's exactly why. And I'm sure Natsuki feels the same way. Well, maybe I don't plan on arguing against it or anything. I mean, it's a literature club. We talk about the stuff together, right? And the only way to get more comfortable with it is to suck it up and do it. Oh. You're not wrong, I'm sorry for being resistant. It's not good to say suck it up, because it sounds like their feelings don't matter. Right, my bad, it's just a habit I need to break. Anyway, who's gonna start? I'll start. I was the first to join, after all. Haha, <laughs> wouldn't that be me? No, I wanna go first. Fine, fine, you could start, I don't mind. Yay, so! Gosh, feels like so long ago. I think I joined because I wanted to have fun sharing poems with people. It seemed like it would be a safe way to express myself, you know? Like, if it's just a poem, then I can share it without feeling like I'm burdened everyone with my problems. And I thought it would be a really good way to show other, get how to other, know other people, too. So, yeah. I was really surprised when I walked in and it was just Monica. And she was sleeping. <laughs> Don't remind me of that. Oh, gosh. Yeah, but it seemed like so much fun to help start a new club. Especially since writing helped me so much, I wanted to see it help other people, too. But it ended up being me who was inspired, because I remember feeling like Monica was just so sweet and mature that I could trust her with anything. It made me feel a lot less alone, having someone who knew even the bad things about me. At that point, I knew the Literature Club was going to be a special for a lot of people. Yeah, I felt the same way. It really helped to give the club more cohesive vision. Yeah, and then Yuri joined, and she was so different from us, and Natsuki too. I think for Yuri, it really helped for me to take the lead before she was able to open up a little. But Natsuki was kind of the opposite, where she wasn't really ready to get close to someone really quickly. I never really thought of that sort of thing. I really feel like I've gotten better at understanding people's different needs, and that makes me really happy, because my friends are just the most important thing to me. And whatever new members we get, I want to help them in those ways too. I don't know if I would have continued coming to the club if it weren't for you. Really? Mm-hmm. I know it wasn't too long ago, but it hurts me to think about my behavior back then. It was really short-sighted. The only reason I came was to find others who were into fantasy. I suppose that was my idea of making friends with people. And I remember feeling uncomfortable because you and I have such different energy. I had such a specific idea of the kind of person I could be friends with, so when Sayori tried so hard to get to know me, I felt like I was just wasting her time. I think I was naive to assume that similar interests were the key component of friendship. Sayori and I were able to be friends because she always thinks about the needs of other people. That's something I never knew how to do or even thought to do. But I stayed in the club thanks to that, and I started trying as hard as I could to understand people better. You really went above and beyond when it came to that, I was just super impressed. Well, I always hated that, I didn't know how to behave like a person who's easily liked by others, like the two of you can. And because of that, I spent so much time thinking about my own behavior and all the wrong things I said. But the whole time, I should have been thinking about other people instead, not myself. Once I started doing that, I was able to make friends with everyone else. 
Oh, also, I discovered that sometimes I'm a better communicator when I take the time to write rather than to speak. It's strange the way things turned out. It's so far different from anything I ever would have expected. But I'm happy. I suppose we don't always know what people really need. Oh my gosh, you're so cute that I'm going to throw up. Okay, please don't do that, Sayori. Besides, I'm not cute. Hey, isn't that my line? Oh, well, for me, it's actually true, so... <laughs> what are you saying? Nothing. I finished my part, so someone else take their turn. My heart... Sayori, take some deep breaths. Okay, fine, I'll go. Yuri, I can't believe you were complaining about doing this and still went before me. What a show-off. I was just following up Sayori. It's the easiest way to get it over with. Besides, you left out the most important thing that you got out of this club. I did? Yeah, a regular supply of your favorite cupcakes. Oh no, I forgot that too! I'm a traitor to the cupcake queen! Neither of you are forgiven. Looks like only Monica will be getting cupcakes next time. No! I can't eat that many cupcakes. Yeah, true, only Yuri can. Hey! <laughs> well anyway, I'm just putting off talking. It's kind of hard to talk about this stuff. But I guess when it comes down to it, I'm, I'm a much better place mentally than when I was when I first joined. And that's because everyone helped me realize that I had some really toxic friendships going on outside the club. It was honestly a really painful thing to go through, having to cut them out. It still hurts to think about. I'm sorry, Natsuki. It's fine, I knew it was for the best, and I was right. I guess for me, it's all about feelings. I was only ever ridiculed for having feelings, so I thought the right thing to do was to just ignore them. It took me a really long time to realize that it's not gonna how things are supposed to work. And I guess that's thanks to everyone who took the time to respect my feelings, and even when I was feeling like the biggest jerk. I'm really sorry for being such a jerk to everyone. I was really the worst. Natsuki's voice chokes a little. We love you, Natsuki. I just hate that I was like that. Everyone did so much for me, and I could all never do anything in return. That's not true, Natsuki. You've done a lot more than you think. This club really wouldn't be the same without you. I mean that. Remember how judgmental I was when you first showed up? It was like I couldn't accept anything other than my own idea of what a literature club was supposed to be. Apparently that was more important to me than the opportunity to bring you some happiness. You really taught me that <clears throat> anything that makes someone happy is worthy of respect. You even inspired me to start playing piano. That's something that means a whole lot to me. So there's no need to put yourself down. Okay. Nasuki wipes her eyes. You helped me a lot too. It's so much fun to have you around. And you helped me become a better person. Having a problem doesn't make you needy or inconvenient. It means that there's something that needs to be better for you. And you always deserve that. I agree. Seeing us have some of the same struggles made me a better person as well. I wouldn't want to change anything about our time here. I don't think any of us would. I'm sorry I got all dramatic again. That's all I wanted to say, so Monica, you can go now. There's no need to apologize. It was something I wanted to talk about anyway because it made a big difference to me. I was always such a strict perfectionist who never took enough time to believe in the best of other people. But everyone kept proving me wrong. I made the mistake multiple times thinking that my way was the best for everyone. Or thinking that I was needed to solve other people's problems. I think being a leader means that you have to acknowledge that you're not perfect. And the best thing you could do is help guide other people rather than to do any everything for them. We're all good people. We're all equals. I think that's the most important thing I've gotten out of the club. Realizing what that really means. Sari, so, what are you doing? I just thought that we should be writing some of these things down. Things about the club that are valuable to us. With a piece of chalk in her hand, Sari writes the word trust on the chalkboard. This is because you showed me I could trust you with everything about me, not just my good side. Suddenly, Yuri takes a piece of chalk as well. She writes, understanding. I, I owe a lot of gratitude to everyone who took the time to understand me, even though it was so difficult for me to express myself. Hmm, in that case, Monica takes a piece of chalk as well and writes the word respect. I always thought I was a respectful person, but it took the club for me to realize that there was more to it than I thought, and I'm a better person because of it. I have another one. Sari writes, balance. Sometimes people want different things out of a friendship, or they need time before they're ready to become close. So it's important to keep things balanced between you and the other person. That reminds me, Yuri writes reflection. I've always been a reflective person, but most of it has been nothing more than hating myself for all the things I thought I did wrong. Once I started reflecting on other people, not just myself, a lot of the things changed for me. So I think that's the most important one for me. That's great. We have a whole list of things now. Suddenly everyone turns to look at Natsuki. Well, everyone look at the chalk. Don't do that to me. Jesus. You could have just asked. Monica hands her a piece of chalk to Natsuki. Then Natsuki writes sighs and writes self-love. I don't know how far I've gotten with it yet, but it feels like things are at least on the right track. So there's my contribution. 
Together, everyone stares at the words on the board. Wasn't this club supposed to be about literature? It is. We still do a lot of literature. Friendship and literature. Yeah, you're right. Friendship and literature. Asuki and Yuri gently nod as well. Hey, let's all take a picture together. We don't have one yet, right? Hey, you're right. Make sure you send it to me after. Wait, can I brush my hair first or something? Oh, you're fine. You already have the best hair out of all of us. Everyone get together. I can't fit you all in. Okay. Okay, everyone ready? And click! All right. Got ourselves a nice picture. I'm really glad we talked about this stuff. It's easy to forget how far we've come with only four members. Yeah, I have so many happy thoughts right now. I'm getting some really good inspiration for a poem. You know, I feel the same way. I kind of want to get some writing done. Me too. I think I would like that as well. Everyone's looking at me again. I'll do it too, but I might not feel like sharing it. That's okay. The four members of the Literature Club disperse and return to their desks, each equipping themselves with a pen. Nasuki and Yuri give each other a quick glance, then start writing immediately. Sayori stretches and does the same, but Monica's left tapping her pen against the paper, unsure of where to start. Just move your hand, Monica mouths to herself. Write the way into your heart. Her mind full of thoughts, memories, and inspiration, Monica navigates past her mental barriers and begins to write. It doesn't matter what, it's just that it's something new. Oh, is this, I think it's probably supposed to be some music thing. Oh, okay, it's just, it's just like a little, just like a little, uh, uh, credits roll or something like that. Yeah, that's cool. Made with Love by Team Savada, yes, okay. That was, that was a, that was a pretty good, oh, hey! Let's not get to see the picture at the end there. That's pretty cool. I like that. Everyone there together. Friendship and literature. And that means I finished all the, uh, the, um, the side stories. This means they're all done, so. Yeah, I get, oh, there's two of them. One, and then this one where they're all doing stupid faces. <laughs> I remember that. All right, so that's all my CGs done. Okay, that's that's pretty good. How much how much content have I got yet? I got 89% so far. I might do an episode where I try to get 100% of all the stuff I need to get, but yeah, all right. All right, well, that's going to have to be it for today. My name is LazyFighter111. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe to this video for more awesome content, and I will see you guys later.